Hello guys and welcome back once again in our DA360 printing tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do a color correction in your sublimation printer manually. We're sure most of you will agree when, when I say that one of the most common problem in sublimation printing is getting the right color. So without any further ado, let's start with our procedure. First, we need a color reference. I had searched this image on the internet then I printed it in a digital printing shop because for sure their printers were calibrated. Don't worry guys, I'll put the image link in the description below so you can access it easily. Open the file in Photoshop. We'll focus in the skin tone because I think this is the most important especially if we're printing a personalized skip items. Let's select the bottom part of the image and drag it in an A4 size canvas. Make sure that the color mode is set to CMYK, then resize the image to more or less 4cm. For our comparison reference, I will print this image using a normal settings. Paper type will be Epson matte and quality will be high. In more options, I will choose automatic by default for color correction and mirror image for additional settings. Print the same image using the same profile, except that this time we're going to use Epson Ultra Glossy for paper type and color correction will still be automatic. Don't forget to name both of this image for your reference. Next. We will open our machine and we'll sublimate the image to our mag. This is the printouts with different paper type settings. We will sublimate this in our mag to see the difference. I'm using 370 degree for the temperature and 180 seconds for the timer. As you can see, Ultra Glossy gives more sharper image than the Epson matte. This time, we will print another set of image using the same profile but different color adjustment. Don't forget to rename the image accordingly for your reference and then save it. In settings, choose Epson matte as paper type and high for quality. But this time, instead of choosing automatic as color correction, you will select custom, then hit the advanced button, and select no color adjustment. No color adjustment means you are not allowing the printer to automatically adjust the color of your printing. Whatever changes we do in Photoshop, if we will only select automatic as a color correction, we will not be able to control the color output of our image. Print another set of image, but this time, Use Epson Ultra Glossy as paper type and select no color adjustment. We're doing this to compare which settings gives more appropriate colors. Here's the printout of both Epson Matte and Ultra Glossy that has no color correction. Let's transfer image to our mags and compare it with our color reference.
be careful in removing this as the mag is freaking hot. We supposed to be using a uh, heat resistant gloves but I don't have it at the moment so we really need to be more careful. As you can see, the images that we have printed using the no color adjustment gives more contrast compared to the same image that was printed as automatic. And not only that, Epson Ultra Glossy is more sharper than Epson Matte. So from now on, we will focus in Epson Ultra Glossy and no color adjustment as our basic settings. Let's go to our next step. This time, we will play with the adjustment settings. We will try to adjust the brightness and contrast, curves and color balance. We will do it step by step so keep on watching. As you can see earlier, the image is a bit darker so let's try to check the brightness and contrast. Let's start with the brightness. Let's say let's adjust it for 50% at least. Then print using ultra glossy and no color adjustment as color correction. And don't forget to rename the image and save it for your future reference. I will sublimate this image to our mug and I'll show you the difference. Okay, it gives more details but the color is still far. If you will notice, the sublimated image is a little bit yellowish. So let's try to adjust the yellow color but this time let's use curves. Select the yellow curves and lower the value from 50 to 35%. Then uh, rename the file and save it accordingly and print it this again using the same profile Epson Ultra Glossy and no color adjustment I will sublimate the image again and let's compare it to our color reference Sublimate the image and see the difference. As you can see, if we will compare our sublimated image to our color reference, either it is a yellowish or less of magenta. Let's try to increase the value of magenta using curves from 50 to 65% to enhance more the colors. Then let's see the difference. Print the image using the same profile. Epson Ultra Glossy for paper type and make sure that the no color adjustment is still selected. Rename the image and save it for your reference.
Have you noticed any difference? The color was enhanced and much better than earlier, but it's still not enough. Let's try to reduce more yellow, but this time let's adjust this using color balance. Drag the lever away from yellow and save it accordingly. Print the image using the same profile, using ultra glossy for paper type and no color adjustment. Then, I will sublimate the image again and I'll compare it to our color reference. As you can see, this time, the skin tone is much better but if you will notice the woman's hair, it's not really black. So let's try to adjust the CMYK in curves from 50 to 60%. Save the image accordingly and print it once again using the same settings. Then I will sublimate it in our mag. This time the color is more closer but a little bit darker. So let's try to adjust the brightness once again. Let's go back to the brightness and increase the value to 80% instead of 50%. Save the file and print using the same profile. I will sublimate the image in our mug and let's compare the result to our color reference. The skin tone of the second baby is more lighter, but the woman's hair seems still need to be enhanced. Let's adjust the black using curves from 50 to 70%. Then save the settings and print it once again using the same profile. Don't forget to use Epson Ultra Glossy and check if no color adjustment is still selected. I hope this will be our final adjustment. I will sublimate this once again in our mugs and let's compare it with our color correction.
finally if you will look at it now uh, the color is more or less 90% closer to our color reference it's far way better than the first printout that we have done I am contented now with this adjustment so keep in mind that it is impossible to achieve the same exact color especially if we're comparing two different materials a glossy mag and a matte paper finally now that we get the proper settings for our sublimation printer group and save these settings and keep it because you will use this in every time you will do sublimation let's try to print an image using three different settings to see the difference i will open the file that i have downloaded earlier and i will change the color mode to cmyk i will print this image using ultra glossy as paper type but with automatic settings then the same image using ultra glossy as paper type but no color correction and finally I'll drag the color corrections on the same image and print it using ultra glossy as paper type high as quality and using no color corrections I hope you learned how to do color correction manually and it will help your sublimation printing. Most of us are also using different printers, sublimation inks, sublimation materials, and machines, so expect that we'll be having different results. But at least we can achieve a closer color that is acceptable especially to our customers.